the go-to get-up. Ding! I hate this tablet. Cabinet. Falls off. I'm just about to super glue this shit. Chinese food doesn't look the nicest, but it is very tasty, very delicious. And we have got like a mushroom medley here. I borrowed a car. We're here at IKEA, and I'm going to purchase some window treatments. Time to pick paint colors once again. I've gotten really good at it actually. When you come to this rainbow board and there's like a thousand colors to choose from, it's really easy to lose reference. And like you kind of have an idea what color family you want to start with, but especially the value. I think it's easy for us to pick colors that are too dark and to not really understand the lighting of our room. And you know, one thing I found to be so helpful is to pick out a light shade if you know the exact color that would work too but like pick the color of let's say your door frame and just take like a white swatch and then compare it next to every other green and that contrast makes it a lot more apparent just how deep a color is i hope that tip works out for you i got two pinks and tomorrow i'm gonna see what it looks like in the bedroom i need daylight to judge it and then two greens for the living room. I think the living room I am the most indecisive about. And I have about three different directions I can go with it, which is why I'm still just like, I don't know what it's gonna end up looking like. But I've, I feel like the moment before I even moved in, I knew I wanted a green. I just didn't know if I wanted an olive green, if that would be way too dark. Um, and then I love red as an idea for a wall. And because my entry space is downstairs and hidden from everything else, I wanted to use that as an opportunity to go for a bold color because it's not really going to affect or like be too overwhelming. I've got my old supplies. You might recognize this from my college apartment. I really like that this magnet keeps your brush out of the paint and there's not many walls so I'm just gonna paint it by hand. I try to avoid using the roller so I didn't have to wash as much, but my wrist really started to hurt. And this is a lot easier to get an even coat. So yeah, it's worth it. Also, it's been a while since I've painted a bathroom and since you need a glossier finish of paint, I forgot how it's more annoying to paint with this. It's harder to get an even coat and it's just a lot more slippery. So it's taking a lot more effort is what I'm trying to say. This is what the green looks like in the daytime. That's only one coat up there, but I'm very happy with it. I like how it's so much deeper in the shadows. And then here you can see the difference between one and two coats.
Yay, it's all done and looking so good. I'm really tired. <sighs> now that my bathroom is finished being painted, I'm gonna put down this pink rug that I picked up at Ikea to go with my color scheme. I have another one, so I'm gonna alternate them whenever one is in the wash. It's kind of hard to show you the wall and the rug together. <gasps> to get a stud sensor. Cool. The red sample worked out really well. So here's a quart of it. It's really not value to get a quart because it's the price of half of a gallon. Am I, am I doing the math right? Yeah. Then I've got a bunch of hardware that I'm going to go into later on because my shower curtain is this whole project. The tiles go all the way to the ceiling. So I can't drill and properly install a shower curtain rod. And I bought a Tension one, but it's very hard to use. Instead of purchasing a new rod and hoping that that rod works out better, and then I have two and the other one just kind of goes to waste. I just spent like less than the cost of a new curtain rod to drill into the ceiling and have this wire cable wrap around my rod and it's like dangling down and it's going to hold the weight and probably be strong enough to hang my wet clothes on in the future when I do my laundry and stuff. I also got this laser level thing. The laser doesn't even work because I have a window so I can't suck it onto the wall. Old fashioned. Wall shelves seem to be all the rage these days because it was completely sold out at Ikea, bare bones. I was just looking for some simple bracket ones, but this was all they had at Home Depot. It's interesting, it's like this metal lip that you screw in and then the shelf with no hardware just fits right into it and the gravity keeps it, I guess like the counterweight keeps it firm and it's very easy to tip up. I'm just putting some extra linens and TP on the shelf so all is good. And another small addition with a big impact is this hook. By the time winter ends, I am always thrilled for spring. In the back of my head, I'm like, hmm, spring is probably my favorite season because the grass gets green, it's nice and sunny but not too hot yet, picnics are great, I'm all like excited for it. And then BAM! Suddenly, as of out of nowhere, with that anticipation, I wake up and my eyes start itching, my throat, my eyes feel swollen, and then I'm like, oh right, I have seasonal allergies. And it's kind of a dice toss, whether or not it's bad. And this year, it started yesterday. And I, oh, I, so I have resumed taking allergy meds and even if I get non-drowsy, something in the active ingredient hits me so hard. I forgot to take it at dinner time yesterday. I've timed it really well to when the drowsiness kicks in, it's time to go to bed. But last night I didn't take it until like one in the morning because I was distracted watching YouTube videos. 
I woke up so groggy today. I'm so tired. I'm not actually tired. It just feels like a very woozy fogginess in my head and I'm very, I'm very, I know exactly why I feel this way because I've experienced it many a times when I've taken allergy meds in the daytime. Wish me luck. Thought I would take a little break from all of the house stuff and work on some art and studio things with a good friend of mine. So I'm on, I'm on my way to her studio actually. Did you see my butterfly? Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Is this an omen for the year? No. <laughs> it's just a butter, because it can't fly. <laughs> to go home now. I didn't do too much work if you want to quantify it, but I did do a lot of mental, emotional work today. First of all, it's always so nice talking to you, Fran. Thank you so much for making the time for me and inviting me into your studio. She's gone, by the way. She went home for the weekend. So I'm going to not be too hard on myself, but also, also be okay with doing stuff that might not like be amazing and that's okay. It is the start of another beautiful day. It is nap time and I am finally cleaning up the guest bedding. It's all washed, getting put away. Very conscious of the fact that throughout this week I have not really talked to the camera. I also want to stay true to myself and just like do my best which i am doing so just quickly checking in to tell you that thank you for all of the uplifting and positive energy you've been sending my way and i hope that no matter what even if this vlog is on a chiller side that you do feel my positive loving vibes being sent your way and 
I'm really excited for the next Moving Diaries because we're making over the kitchen and the living room. I have such big plans. I think it's going to look so good. So yeah. For the last couple of days on the side, what I have not been showing you is I've been doing ceramics at home. So my 12 week term from ceramics had ended and that's when I was learning on the wheel and it was so amazing. Okay, I'm going to update you and show you the pieces I made in April notes, but I couldn't let it go. Like I need to continue making ceramics. It's bringing me so much joy. So I signed up for a virtual class. So I'm basically doing hand building from home and I don't have to go into any classes and like I don't get a wheel or anything like that but at least I still am making stuff and entertaining that creative muscle and I can't show you what I'm doing yet because it's kind of a surprise for my sister so you'll see very soon but I can show you the two bowls that I made I have this tendency to make smaller bowls than I hoped and I have all of these tiny bowls so I'm trying to work larger because I also don't account for how much it shrinks and it's crazy how much it shrinks. It's nice and sunny today. Thank you so much for tuning in to the vlog. I will say goodbye for now. Enjoy spring. Love you. Bye bye.